In the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 6, it says that he that said he abide in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So if you saying you abide in God, you ought to walk as he walked. But sometimes in this journey along the way, we tend to get off track. We tend to fall short. But you know, we tend to fall short because we human. And we either make mistakes or we make bad choices. But that's not an excuse. We have to walk as he walked if we claim to be in him. But the Bible also tells us that uh, a, a just man falls seven times and he get back up again. So if you find yourself falling, you get back up. Why? Because you want to stay connected. That's what it's about, staying connected. Now, in the book of John, um, chapter 15, I want to read starting in verse number one, and we're going to talk about this. It says, Jesus said, I am the true vine, and the father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that bear not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear fruit, he purge it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So we're talking about branches that are connected to the vine. He says, now, verse 3, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. So you can't bear fruit of yourself as a branch. You have to be connected to the vine. In which is Jesus. And um, verse number five, he says, well, verse six, he says, if a man abide not in me, so if you don't abide in him, if you're not connected to him, he is saying he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. So, by staying connected to Jesus, you can ask for something. Whatever you will, and Jesus says, he'll give it to you. And in verse 8, he says, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. So, it's the Father is glorified when we bear fruit. However, we can't bear fruit unless we stay connected to the vine. So we need to stay connected to Jesus if we want to be productive. He says, so shall ye be my disciples. So he says in verse 9, as the Father had loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, he says, ye shall abide in my love. So we want to abide or stay connected to Jesus' love. And the way we do that is by keeping his commandments. He says, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. So Jesus stayed connected to the father and he was abiding in the father's love, connected to the father's love. Why? Because he did those things that pleased the father. And we have to do those things that please Jesus. Now don't feel bad when you you get down and, and you make a bad decision don't give up there don't give up and throw in the towel you got to get back up you brush your feet your feet off and you get back up and you keep going so you may fall short but don't give up you may fall out but you got to get back in it's not easy it, it, a lot of times it's not easy because when we have certain desires that we like or certain things in our life or people they may we may allow those things to run us off our course but we got to stay connected because by being connected to Jesus is where we get our nourishment you can't uh you can't bear fruit on a tree unless it's unless the fruit is connected think about an apple tree an apple won't grow unless it's connected to the tree connected to that branch and that branch won't produce that apple unless it's connected to that tree 
So we can't bear fruit unless we stay connected to Jesus. We can't do nothing without him. We need him. So even if you fall short, stay connected. Get back, connect, reconnect. Just like a phone call. You on a phone call and you lose signal. You lost connection. But a lot of times what we do, when we were talking to someone and we lose that signal, we dial that number again so we could get back connected to them again. Do the same thing with God. I may I fall short. You may fall short, but you know what? Don't give up. Get back connected again. And try to stay connected. Ask God to help you stay connected. Alright? So I just want to provide encouraging words on this day. Stay connected. Hey, believe in Jesus Christ. Get baptized in his name. Ask for the gift of the Holy Ghost. See you next video.